Merry Christmas, and welcome to the Superbook Show. Abby, I want you to guess what my very favorite Christmas music is. Hmm, maybe Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer? Oh, come on. Be serious. Guess again. And think classical. The William Tell Overture. Wrong again, Kimosabi. Classical. Christmas. I got it. Handel's Messiah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It sure took you long enough. Well, it just seems kind of highbrow for you. It kind of is, or was, until I learned more about the composer and how he wrote it. Go ahead. George Frederick Handel was born in Germany the same year as Johann Sebastian Bach, 1685. A good year for composers. And Beethoven, as I was about to say, Beethoven, who was born a century later, called Handel the greatest composer who ever lived. High praise. Handel must have been a really big deal back in the day. Well, no. Before he wrote The Messiah, he had pretty much failed. He was in poor health, very few attended his performances, and then he went bankrupt. Really? Really. And he actually came close to going to debtor's prison. He had a temper, too. <gasps> Anger management issues? He once fought another composer over seating in the orchestra pit that ended in a sword fight. Yikes! The other composer thrust his sword into Handel's coat. Oh no! Fortunately, the sword struck a metal button, and he survived. So Handel was poor, unpopular, and had a bad temper. You, please. How did someone like that write an inspiring work such as The Messiah? God always uses people who are willing, in spite of their faults. One day, a friend came to Handel with a libretto. A what -o? A libretto. It's the text, the words for a long musical work. This one was about Christ and redemption, and it was all from scripture. So I'm guessing the friend wanted Handel to write the music for it. Right. Handel agreed and figured it would take him a year to write it. He started composing in August 1741. So he finished in 1742. No. Handel wrote and orchestrated the whole work in just 24 days. 260 pages of music. They say that he was so focused that he never left his house that whole time. Sounds like a God thing. Definitely. After he wrote the Hallelujah Chorus, Handel said, I did think I see all heaven before me and the great God himself. When he finished the Messiah, he signed it with three letters, S, D, G, Soli Deo Gloria. Glory to God alone. So what did audiences think? They were, and still are, awed by it. There were 700 people at the first performance in Dublin. So many people wanted tickets that women were told not to wear hoop skirts, and men were asked to leave their swords at home to make room for everyone. The church must have been packed. Actually, it wasn't a church. In fact, Handel directed only one performance in a church. So where did he perform then? Music theaters. Also at London's Foundling Hospital for Orphans, which was one of the charities he supported. Did Handel's life improve after he wrote The Messiah? He died a wealthy man and left most of his money to charity. Sounds like a good guy after all. I think so. After his death, a close friend said that Handel was a good Christian with a true sense of his duty to God and to man, and in perfect charity with all the world. I love a happy ending. His word is forever alive. Why not take some time this holiday season to listen to a recording or attend a live performance of Handel's Messiah? 
and tell us what you think in the comments below. If you really want to get a handle on things, why not like and subscribe? And check out our Facebook page and the Superbook Bible app. See, See you next time. And tell us what you think. Dang it. Oh, okay, sorry. To listen to a recording or attend a live performance. I, th I think I start. Oh, just kidding. No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you could start. <laughs>